What's up ladies? Today I'm going to be doing a three part video series where I'm going to be sculpting your entire body. Today's video is going to be all about that booty where I'm going to help you lift, round, firm that booty and with my three top favorite exercises I'm going to be doing today. At any time you can go ahead and get the booty bands and barbells in the link below and as well you can get your free workouts and the booty bands fitness app by clicking that link below. So let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need for today in the workouts, I will be using some resistance bands. You want to make sure that you have some high quality resistance bands. It's really going to put some resistance in on that booty. Next I'm going to be doing the um, using the booty bands dumbbells and then I'm going to be going into the booty bands barbell. So this is going to be again three different workouts so go ahead and get set up getting your equipment ready and let's go ahead and begin. So first one I'm going to be using a level one booty band. The reason why I like this one is because it has a phenomenal stretch to it and this one we really want to get a really good uh, range of motion so that we can really target this glute which we're going to be focusing on the top portion of the glute which is called the medius which is going to help the top portion of the glute and as well into the side making you have that bubble booty. So I call this the flying mermaid. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to just bring your knee and your foot up parallel to the other leg and then bring it down. I always, always, always tell all of my booty bands members you do not want to go through this entire workout and not activate your glutes. So the most important thing to do is make sure that you're working it. You should feel your muscles working after about the third rep. And so what you want to do if you cannot feel it, you want to maybe make a little adjustment with your knees either further back, maybe a little bit forward. You're going to know depending on your own anatomy. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go into lifting that leg and dropping it down again, lifting and lowering again. Now you should start feeling it into your glute. If you can't, make sure that you make any little minor adjustments so you can start feeling that glute. We're going to go ahead and do a total of 15 reps, lifting and lowering, engaging it. You're going to want to push against that band as much as you possibly can, giving it the best stretch. After you do a total of 15 reps, we're going to go ahead and go on to the same leg. So the leg that you're working is your right leg if it's on the top. Okay, that's the one that's doing most of the work right here. So after 15, how many more reps do we have? Who's counting? <laughs> Ow, it's already hurting. Can you feel that burn? That's why I love booty bands because you feel the burn in all the right places. Oh my gosh, my butt has never been better by using these. Oh my gosh, okay, I really lost count, but if you've been counting, good for you. All right, let's go into the next part. So go ahead and you can um, keep your booty band on for more resistance, or I'm gonna show you a modification where you can take it off. So either or. Next, I'm gonna go into the dumbbells. Now we wanna work the same leg that we were working. So the right leg goes in front, and the left leg is gonna go back. And so this is called a single leg, straight leg deadlift, or row. Um, Essentially what you want to do is you want to keep your leg not hyper extended, but you want to keep it with a slight bend. You want to roll your shoulders back, keep the chest lifted as you're just going to draw your weights down that front leg and then lift it back up. Now if you have really good balance, you can go ahead and kick up that back leg, but that's only for advanced. Otherwise, you're just going to go here. Now a common mistake I see is people bending that knee. No, your knee stays straight as only the only thing that moves forward and back is your hips. What you're doing is you're sending all of the weight into your heels and all the way, then what that does is you're working your hamstring all the way up into your booty. All right, we have a total of 10 reps. You want to make sure that you are not using your back, so you keep your back nice and flat. The weight is very close to your body, and your chest is always lifted. And my butt is purely on fire right at this point. All right, we're going to go ahead and go into the next leg, so dropping it down. Of course, we want to burn the other butt cheek, so grab your level one booty band. Place it up onto your thighs, and let's go ahead and now do the other leg. So, flying mermaid, lift that knee and the foot up into the air, 
Again, you're gonna try it for just a few reps and see, are you feeling your glute? Now you're gonna feel your other glute. Now you just gotta have to see where the other pain is at this point. So I can't really feel it that well, so I'm just gonna inch my knees back a little bit and then you wanna just maybe flex your foot. Ooh, okay, big difference. Definitely feeling it in through the side. Now I'm definitely shaking. Again, we have a total of 15. Who's counting? Oh, it burns so good. Oh my gosh. My other butt cheek is on fire at this point. Beautiful work. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one with the booty band on. So go ahead and pick up your dumbbells as we just did before. The left leg is now in front as the right leg goes back. Rolling the shoulders back, the chest is nice and lifted. You have a flat back as you're just gonna inch the weights down to roughly about your shin and then up. Halfway to your shin or maybe just below your knee, depending on your flexibility level. And you should feel this through your calves, your hamstring, and all the way up into your glutes. It's gonna be, feel phenomenal. Just making sure that you're pressing through that heel, and if you do so, you're gonna feel it. Oh my gosh. Straight booty on fire at this point. We're gonna go ahead and finish it off with my most favorite one. Whew. All right, so my last favorite one for this one, we're just gonna end it with a grand finale. You can either do this elevated, which is called hip thrust, or you can do it on the ground, which is called bridges. Either one work phenomenal. What you're gonna do is place the barbell onto your hips as you bend your legs. You want your feet about hip distance apart, so right underneath your knees. The trick here is that you are pressing with your heels. So press up, lifting it. Again, your hands are just there just to hold the dumbbell, but not lifting it. Your hips are doing all of the lifting. Now the booty band is what's phenomenal for this because it's gonna put that resistance into the side of your booty, giving you that nice good bubble booty. So we're gonna go really slow for five reps. When we come up to the top, you're gonna press against that band, in, and then slowly down. Again, up, out, very slow, in, and down. You have a total of three more. Up, out, slow, in, slow down. Engage those muscles, feel everything working. Dig your heels into the ground. Your booty should be screaming right now, but the best feeling ever. Good, now that you've done five, little pulses up at the top for 10, nine, Eight, press against the band and press up. Out and up, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Best feeling, oh, okay, that's straight failure. I can't do any more. So you're gonna go ahead and just drop the weight and roll it away. Oh, so you wanna rest, stretch it out, send some blood and oxygen into their area. And you wanna repeat this a total of about three or four times. Now, if you want to do the full workout, you can go ahead and, ch and um, check out the Booty Dance Fitness app. You can go ahead and click the link below where you can grab all of your equipment, all of the tools to help you get that dream body that you've been looking for. Trust me, I'm so out of breath right now. Um, awesome, click the link below and I'll see you in the community.